I think it is safe to say that one of the very first things that we recognize about someone is their smile. And that is what we are going to talk about today because I do think there are some things that create a beautiful smile. The biggest thing is nice teeth. That is something that I do notice when I am speaking with someone is their smile and when you smile of course the very first thing that we see are people's teeth. To me it's important to have nice teeth and a couple components come with that. The first one is to have nice straight teeth. I have shared with you that I did have braces as a teenager but I also was not the most responsible teenager and therefore I did not follow up or follow through with wearing my retainer. Just over a year ago, I decided to do Invisalign. If you would like to hear more about that, I did a video last Friday sharing my Invisalign treatment and journey. You can get to that video right up here or you can get to it in the drop down box of this video. Number one, nice straight teeth. Number two, for me, for my personal self, I like to have nice white teeth. That is also something else that I do recognize when I am speaking with someone. I can't necessarily say that I recognize when someone does not have vibrant teeth. That doesn't stand out to me. But if someone has very yellow teeth, I believe it is very obvious. I also can say that when someone has extremely white teeth, that is very obvious as well. But if you fall in between, I don't think most people recognize that as much. So gauge that according to what your preference is going to be. Because again, straight teeth and bright white teeth is definitely a personal preference. It does fall in the cosmetic line. So just like doing fillers or Botox is cosmetic, straight teeth is cosmetic as well and really teeth whitening is. What I want to share with you today is how I whiten my teeth. Now let me back up a little bit and share with you that I have been whitening my teeth ever since I was a teenager. And some of the products that I share with you today are the ones that I have used since I was a teenager. Now many people have an opinion on what they feel is suitable to brighten and whiten your teeth. What you have to bear in mind is that everyone has their own system and their own routine and it could vary greatly from yours. That is okay. I think it's really important to understand that we all have different preferences. And there's going to be a couple things in this video that are definitely going to be controversial for some. But always remember that what works for you may be different for someone else. And today I'm really just sharing what I do it works for me, it's worked for many years, and I'll tell you one thing, when I go and get my teeth cleaned twice a year, my dental hygienist and my dentist cannot believe how white my teeth are. They have shared that they would not be able to even get the shade of white or the level of white that I have in office. Also, the products that I am using on my teeth have never showed any sign of creating issues to my gums or my teeth. So therefore, I'm going to listen to my dentist and if I've been doing it this long and it's working, I'm going to stick with it. Fortunately, I do not have gum or teeth sensitivity. I know many people do and it's really hard for me to tell someone if they are going to experience sensitivity because I don't experience it myself. I do have a YouTube video linked in the drop down box as well as on the corresponding blog post that you could watch if you do have sensitivity. The products that I share with you today may not work for you and I think it's really just trial and error. I always recommend keep your receipt. If something causes you pain the first time trying it and you know you're not going to stick with it, most companies are more than willing to take the return and give you a refund for your purchase. So let's dive in with the products and routine. Step number one is flossing. And I have been advised by my dental hygienist and dentist to floss prior to brushing. 
Therefore, that is what I choose to do. I'm going to share with you, unfortunately, I have never been a really good flosser. I just can't get it down. What I have chose to do is switch over to interproximal cleaning. I use interdental brushes to do that. I did do some research on how effective interdental brushes are compared to flossing. And believe it or not, what I found out is that studies are showing that they are more effective. One of the reasons for that is how easy they are to use compared to flossing and the time that you save by using these brushes. So more people are actually taking care of their gums because of these. The one that I choose to use is the Soft Pick Advance. There are different ones in different styles, but this has been the one that I have found the most effective to getting into my gum area. You do get a little tray to put them in and you can reuse them several times before replacing it. So this is step number one. <laughs> okay, I may have a problem with brushes. <laughs> But moving on to step number two, and I will kind of explain all of these brush. We have Dental Guard, another Dentigard, another Dentigard and Oral B. <laughs> I believe the Oral B one is is the one that my dentist always gives me when I get my teeth cleaned. Bear in mind I have Invisalign, so I do have a little bit of a high maintenance teeth routine, but my very next step is brushing, and there's a reason I have the hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is where it's going to get controversial, and again, to each their own. Be your own health advocate. That is all I can say. But my favorite toothpaste is the Sensodyne Pro Namel Gentle Whitening. I um, love this toothpaste. Yes, it has fluoride. I know there are many people that choose to go the natural route, and they choose to go with something that does not have any of the toxins in it. So yes, fluoride is a toxin, and I believe even on the packaging of toothpaste that has fluoride, they even have the poison control stuff on here. I would love to say that natural beauty <laughs> works for me, but I just must not have been blessed <laughs> with being able to find a lot of natural products to be effective. I am a performance-based girl, and therefore I use things that perform. This performs, this is why I use it. When it comes to fluoride, I'm talking about adult teeth cleaning and whitening here. I'm not talking about children. I do believe that you need to be very cautious or just exclude fluoride if you have small children because again, it's toxic and you would not want your children to accidentally be ingesting those toxins. I'm an adult and this is what I choose to do. So again, you just have to do what works for you. But I love this toothpaste. I have a couple spares waiting in the wings. I take one of the three toothbrushes and I'm not implying that anybody needs to have <laughs> three toothbrushes. I apply my toothpaste and I brush my teeth. Brush away just like you normally would. Again, this is after flossing. And I spit the remnants that are in my mouth, and then I spray hydrogen peroxide on my toothbrush, and then I scrub my front teeth with that. Been doing this ever since I was a teenager. When I am done with that, I take toothbrush number two, which really I line up my three toothbrushes and I put paste on all three. I brush my teeth a second time. One of the reasons is I have the Invisalign trays. So I would say my teeth routine may be a little bit more high maintenance than someone else's, but this is what works for me. And yeah, it, it, it does take a little bit of time. So you have, to, you have to pick and choose what parts of my teeth whitening routine you would want to incorporate. The next thing I do is I brush my teeth again, just like I would, but it's just a new toothbrush ready to go. Then I use baking soda, and this is just a recycled container that has baking soda in it. There is also a little tiny spatula type thing in there that had came with some skincare. What I do is I scoop a little bit of that baking soda into the lid of this little plastic jar, and I dip my toothbrush in there to get the baking soda on it. And that way I can wash this when I am done and I'm not dipping directly into the baking soda. This is a little discolored and it's because this is actually a recycled container from some activated charcoal whitening powder that I had used. And we will talk a little bit more about the activated charcoal for teeth whitening in just a moment. 
but I've brushed my teeth a second time and now I take baking soda and I go over top of my teeth in the front and I scrub them just like I did with the hydrogen peroxide. This is really where I end. You really don't need to brush after this. Baking soda does not leave an unpleasant taste in your mouth. Actually, it's a very clean taste. I do this brushing routine in the morning only. In the evening, all I do is use one toothbrush, brush my teeth one time, that is it. No flossing, no whitening, nothing like that. Let's recap. Step one is interproximal cleaning, which is an alternative to flossing. Step two is brushing with the Sensodyne toothpaste and using the hydrogen peroxide. Step three is another round of brushing, which you could omit this. Most people don't have Invisalign and you could just add the baking soda after the hydrogen peroxide or do one or the other, do both, whatever you would like. But for me, step three, is second round of brushing followed up with the baking soda. Step four is going to be gargling. And I'm not opposed necessarily to conventional gargle, although it has alcohol in it. And I will have a blog post down below talking about your mouthwash, your mouth rinse, but it does cause dry mouth. And I have recognized that when I switched over to this Thera Breath Fresh Breath Oral Rinse, I didn't experience as much dry mouth. So check out the article below and really just what I want to say about this is it tastes different than your traditional mouthwashes would, but I actually believe it leaves your mouth fresher. The other thing that I will do with this is I scrub my tongue as well. One of the things that I can say about bad breath is I believe a lot of it is caused by dehydration. People are not drinking enough water. And then if you're drinking coffee or having anything that can leave that odor or that taste that you have in your mouth, just recognize that when you are speaking to someone, they could smell it. So keeping your tongue really clean is important. I don't use a tongue scrubber, but I will link one because you actually can pick those up. I just use my toothbrush. So I use this as a gargle, a mouth rinse, and then I scrub my tongue as well. Those four steps are my everyday routine. And again, for many of you, it's only going to be three because you probably don't need to do the second brushing. Once a week, I use the Opal Essence Go to whiten my teeth even more. And boy, do these things work. They are amazing and they are so easy to use and so easy to apply. You get this box right here, it's mint flavored and it has 15% hydrogen peroxide. It comes with these little green trays and inside the tray is the whitening strip. And these are not like the crest whitening strips that just don't stay on your teeth, they shift around. These are more of the type that mold right to your teeth. So you could walk around for one, two hours and your whitening strips are not going to budge. But they are sitting inside these green trays. It is marked upper and lower, so you know exactly what you're doing. You put the tray right on your teeth. Let's say you're doing the upper. And when you pop the green part out, the whitening strip actually stays on your teeth. And then if you wanna press them in a little bit more, you can. But these just really do the trick. Recently, we were on a family vacation and I had taken a couple of these for family members to use and they could not believe how white their teeth were. Now for me, I use them all the time, but when I use this or the day that I use it on, I can always tell my teeth are whiter than what they are on the everyday basis. I just don't wanna use these every single day. Once a week is perfect. Once in a while, I may skip it and go once every two weeks. But you have to understand that my level of whiteness is already there. If you are trying to get your teeth to a whiter or brighter level, then you may want to start using something like this every other day or every day or three times a week, whatever it may be, until you get to the level that you want. And then it really boils down to 
maintenance. You know I talk all the time about maintenance in so many areas of our lives. So for my teeth whitening routine, I'm really just in maintenance mode. It's just about maintaining. I'm probably not going to get my teeth much whiter. And I could, perhaps, if I wanted to for an event or something, and I would just do one or two more of these throughout the week. I cannot recommend these high enough. They're a little bit pricey, but again, performance. I mean, you can buy the Crest strips and they shift around and they barely do anything, or you can use something that is much stronger and is going to give you results. And I always say, I'm all about results. And that's why what I do is what I do, because it works for me. And the most important thing you can do in so many areas of your life is find what works for you. Often people are trying to change what we do or tell us, do this, do that. But when somebody is telling you it works, there's a reason I want to share and I'm passionate about sharing because I know what works for me. I just can only hope that it will work for you as well, but definitely give these a try if you want to get that pretty smile going on. And, and frankly, who doesn't? Who doesn't want to have a pretty smile, right? That's the first thing we see. Moving back to the baking soda, this is how I buy baking soda and then I just keep this filled up. I just pour it in there if anybody is wondering that. Now I do want to talk about the activated charcoal whitening that is out there. It's still all the rage and I have had several different companies send me products to test and try their activated charcoal whitening system. Like I had mentioned here, this is a recycled container from Bianco Smile. Now, I'm not going to say that you can't get results with the activated charcoal whitening systems, but what I am going to say is they are awfully, awfully messy, and to me, they were a nuisance. What I ended up finding out was the only time I really could use the activated charcoal powder was when I was in the shower. And let me just explain why that is. I have a routine as to when I brush my teeth. I am still drinking my coffee in the morning when I am getting ready. So I am not ready to brush my teeth and my shower has already been done. So because I'm applying my makeup while drinking my coffee, I'm brushing my teeth after my makeup has been applied. The activated charcoal is such a fine milled powder that it is really messy and it's so hard to not get it around your lips or even splash a little bit here or there. So what would happen is I'd get a dot here and a dot here. Well, it's very staining and that's really hard to cover. So what I recognize is the only time I could really use my activated charcoal was in the shower because then I don't have to worry about it. And that works fine if that is when you are brushing your teeth. But for me, the timing of the day does not work. I also feel that the products that I use are very affordable. How much is baking soda? How much is hydrogen peroxide? That's my everyday use. So I really just didn't see where this fits into my repertoire. And that's something else that you have to figure out for yourself. Many of you may recall last weekend seeing me on Instagram stories whitening my teeth and I had a little lit up device like this in my mouth. Now again, this is going to be the activated charcoal. This was gifted to me by Bianco Smile. And again, I'm not saying something like this doesn't work. It's just I'm dealing with a dark activated charcoal and it worked for me that morning. So really I'm just trying to use this kit up. This is where you make the little molds of your teeth and then you fill your mold with this syringe of activated charcoal. You put them in your teeth and then you have this unit that you turn on and stick inside. To be honest with you, I wouldn't get any more results by using something like this than what I get. And I actually believe what I'm doing is what gives me the most results over doing something like this. Really just try different things, see what works for you. I believe the system that I use and the products that I use just are awesome. I really do. And if you want to give my routine and my products a try, I would recommend it for anyone, but you have to figure out you know, what, what you're comfortable using when it comes to products. Talk to your dentist. Always go to the expert. Uh, don't, don't Be leery of naysayers because often the naysayers are not even an expert in the field. And I know for me, I'm going to do my own research. I'm an advocate for myself and my system works for me. My dentist approves it, so I'm a happy camper 
with a really nice pearly white smile and some straight teeth. We're getting there, we're getting there. We're just tweaking things. Don't forget I have that video. All links are down in the drop down box below of everything that I talked about, including a couple other things. I also included a couple videos you may want to watch and reference that talk about fluoride. Is it a good choice? Is it not? Different mouth rinses to look at sensitivity. I have lots of things in the drop down and the corresponding blog post, so check it out. All right. Thank you uh, for joining me and uh, give your day and your friends and your family and your coworkers and everything else a big smile, and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care.